Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a video on buying non-KYC peer-to-peer Bitcoin part two. This will be a follow-up from my second video. I just want to do a quick introduction slide so you can check out my initial video on peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin, which I will link below. The principles I discussed there also apply to any of the exchanges I'm about to discuss. I also have a tutorial done at the end of this video on the Peach Wallet. Beginner's warning, you do need to own a wallet before doing any of this. You need to learn to walk before you can run. Once you have your own wallet set up, you will be ready for what I'm about to show you. The platforms I will be discussing include BISC, Noons, Vexel, and Peach, as well as some other small tips. BISC, desktop software. This is probably the most decentralized option when it comes to non-KYC peer-to-peer Bitcoin. You can run your own client. Under the post of my first video on non-KYC peer-to-peer Bitcoin, this was by far the most common one people told me to do further research on. Once the software is downloaded onto the desktop, no government entity can stop it. They can, of course, close your bank account though, so be careful there. I will discuss more on this later. Furthermore, it's faster, safer, and you have more control. Ensure backup and store your BISC because all your data is stored locally on your machine in the BISC data directory. If something happens, no one can help you, which is from their website. I also just want to further quote this from their website. Therefore, it's also crucial that you back up your BISC data directory on a regular basis. I will link a tutorial on security options available to you below. Regarding the next exchange, I'm not actually sure what to call it. I assume, I assume they're trying to go for the term no one, but they have spelt it as noon. So I'm just going to call it no one as I assume that is what they're sort of aiming for with their peer-to-peer non-KYC exchange. It is available as a website and an app. However, if you want to download the app, you may need to download it directly from the website. It accepts Visa coupons. This means you can use it in coordination with the Blitz wallet, which allows you to buy Visa coupons from a layer two full custodial wallet. See my other tutorial below on the Blitz wallet, and you can integrate Blitz and Noons together for buying your peer-to-peer non-KYC Bitcoin. I've just created a slide on how to use Visa coupons, what's for fees and ensure can secure quickly if you're going to accept them. If you're going to send, simply enter the email of the seller upon purchasing them. I'm not going to read the rest of the slide out. It's just a rough step-by-step -step guide showing you how you can convert Visa coupons onto a more secure platform. So Vexel is another app. If you are on iOS, you will need to download TestFlight to use it. It is not your traditional peer-to-peer -peer platform and it does not have an escrow function. Its unique feature is that it is KYF, which means know your friend. It is based on your phone number and the contacts there. It aims to build genuine circular economies. It is Tinder for Bitcoiners. It encourages you to use your contacts and to connect with other Bitcoiners. You will either know them or have a mutual acquaintance through contacts of contacts. It gives you the chance to verify the authenticity of the person by enforcing KYF, as I said earlier, is know your friend. Its other unique feature is that it's not just limited to obtaining Bitcoin. You can buy or sell other products there, such as, such, such as groceries. Peach is another app, and if you are on iOS, you will also need to download TestFlash. Its unique function is that it allows you to trade peer-to-peer -peer on your phone. The benefit is that it's convenient and very easy to use. The disadvantage, though, is that although private and anonymous to use, it being an app is a centralized point of failure, and governments could remove it from the App Store. This disadvantage will not apply to BISC or RoboSats if used correctly. The company operates on a Bitcoin standard, holding only Bitcoin on its balance sheet. It is aspiring to integrate a Lightning, which may be in the app very soon, as, as they have just obtained a Lightning node as of this week. You can also link your own node, and I will link that tutorial below on how you do that. I will now show you a tutorial demonstrating how you can buy and sell while exploring the various options on the app. Hi guys, I'm about to do the tutorial on how to buy and sell Bitcoin on Peach Bitcoin. The app is very simple to use, it's very plain. And for the first part of the tutorial, I am going to buy Bitcoin. So I'm gonna press buy at the bottom of the screen. So you can initially filter the way you want to buy. So you can add the currency and payment methods that are available to you. So for example, the three I have picked out are SEPA, N26 and WISE. These are all available in Ireland. 
When it comes to the SEPA, you will have to link that specifically to your N26 or your Ys or even your Revolut if you want. I don't recommend using your Revolut. You should use uh, these other banks instead. But you will have to individually set up your SEPA. So make sure you do that if you want to receive or send SEPA instant. The two online wallets I recommend are just N26 and Wise. I find them easy to use. I think N26 is a little better as Wise tends to have some fees. You can also add more currency or payment methods if you want. So I'm just going to select them all now. And I'll go back to the initial buy screen. And you can see these are the three options that I want. These are This is the amount of money that I want. And I'm going to be paying out to my Peach wallet. You can then modify it by how much you want to buy it and sell. So for this transaction, I'm just going to keep it very small. It's just going to be between 18 and 131 euro. That's what it seems to be offered. And you can either get it paid out to your Peach wallet, which is a self-generated wallet in the app, or you can get it paid out to your external wallet. And I'm just going to get it paid out to my Peach wallet today just to keep things simple, but you can get it paid out directly to your cold storage. So, so I'm just going to press show offers now. So as you can see, there's lots of offers here. Some of them are new users, some of them are super traders, fast traders, early adopters, and offer instant trades. When it comes to instant trades or non-instant trades, basically if it's an instant trade, you won't have to bid or compete with other people to get the Bitcoin. With an instant trade, what you see on the screen being offered is what you're going to get the Bitcoin for. It's why there tends to be a higher premium for the instant trades. Whereas when it comes to the non-instant trades, even if you make an offer, the seller may not accept it and you will not be sure how long until it is accepted. So I'm just going to press on this trader here. And as you can see, they have an extensive amount of payment options. So in the, so in the UK, they have Strike, Revolut, Wise, PayPal and Faster Payments, Euro, they have SEPA. In Poland, it's Wise. And as you can see, Wise seems to be quite a common option for people using the app. And just so you know, when you buy any Bitcoin on Peach, you have to pay an extra 2% on what the price is, as that's the premium that Peach charge for hosting the peer-to-peer -peer exchange. You can also look up what any of the terms mean. I just explained instant trade as it's not as obvious, but super trader, you can read it for yourself there. So you have super trader is a very active Peach user. They have done at least 20 trades. Fast Trader is as quick as the Lightning Network. They accept matches and make or confirm payments almost instantly. And an early adopter, these are people who have been with us for a long time. I find the app to be very simple to use and quite self-explanatory, which is quite nice. So for the sake of the transaction today, I'm just going to go with the top transaction there. It's just the cheapest one and has a very low fees. And the person offers both a SEPA instant and a wise. I will just say, the person is also a super trader and you can see their peach ID in the top left corner. I'm going to select a set bit instant. And I've just requested the trade and I'm simply just waiting on the seller to respond. You can leave the app if you like, as you just wait for the seller. As you can see at the bottom, trade requested waiting for seller. And your match got accepted. You need to make the payment within 12 hours. The faster you are, the better your peach score will be. So I can't actually go in to the contract because it will reveal the personal information of the seller. But basically you're gonna go into the contract and you will copy their IBAN and then you'll paste it into your own bank, whether that's Vice or N26, and then you will send them the payment. When they have received the payment, and it might take a couple of minutes, especially if it's your first time trading with them, they will then release the funds from the escrow and it will arrive in your account. Something important to know is that when it is leaving the escrow, it may take a little while, as sometimes they do batch transactions in order to save on fees. Remember you can either sell remember you can either send it to your custom peach wallet or you can send it to your own external wallet. I am back at the home screen now. Something briefly I want to show you is if you just go down into trades, after completing the transaction and sending the money to the specified bank details, make sure you move the little slider at the bottom of what comes up next to confirm that you've made the payment. So I'm back at the home screen and I can just show you how to access your wallet. So if you just press wallet at the bottom of the screen, and as you can see, you can see my total Bitcoin balance here, some of which is included from the transaction, which I carried out previously. I'm now back at the home screen and I'm going to sell my Bitcoin, which is in my wallet. So I'm simply going to press sell. As you can see at the top, you can show which options you want to make avail of when you are selling your Bitcoin. I highly suggest these three here. It's the same ones I use when buying. 
I'm going to decide to sell basically what's in my wallet. So we'll leave it at about 144,000 sats, which equals about right now 137 euro. I'm going to charge a premium of about 5.5% just because I want the transaction to go through and that's not that high. It's important to remember it's important to remember that the buyer has to pay an extra 2% on top of this as that is what Peach charges for hosting the service. As you can see, there are zero competing sell offers below this premium, so it is quite a low price. I'm going to make myself available for an instant trade, as once again, I just want the trade to go through. In general though, if I was to make an instant trade, I would probably put the premium at about 20%. Just so you know, for anybody watching this, this allows for some good arbitrage opportunity. You can also further specify if you want a fast trader and a super trader, but I'm just gonna leave them off. I'm pretty happy with no new users and a minimum reputation of 4.5. For any new users, if you're trying to get your profile off and running, instant trades are usually the best way to go. If you want to establish yourself, set a lower than normal market premium. But if you're struggling to make trades, the best way to build your profile up is instant trades and offer a slightly lower premium. Once again, just for simplicity, I'm going to have the refund sent to the Peach Wallet if things do not work. So now I'm going to fund the escrow. And as you can see, you're funding the escrow with your Peach Wallet. I'm sending about 144,000 sats to the escrow and I am incurring a fee of 442 satoshis, which is two sats per V-byte, which is very good. And I'm just going to confirm and send. And as you can see, I've completed the funding from the Peach Wallet, as you can see from the bottom. It's simply just waiting for it to land in the escrow. As soon as it lands in the escrow, I'll be able to meet buyers to sell it. Because it's an on-chain transaction, it can take a little bit of time. This notification just come up saying your Bitcoin transaction is pending. You can go do something else and we'll publish your offer as soon as it's finished. So I'll come back in a couple of hours and hopefully it will be ready to go. Now that the escrow has been complete and that I set up an instant trade, all I have to do is wait for a notification into my bank to see I've got the money or if the person is contacting me on Peach itself. In this circumstance, the person directly deposited the money into my bank and now they are awaiting me to release the escrow. I am back at the home page and now I'm going to go into trades and I'm going to go into sell. The top one here is the deal that I made and I'm going to confirm the payment. I cannot actually press into it, but when you press into it, of course, assuming you've received the funds at the bottom, you're just going to slide across to confirm that you actually got them. And after submitting the trade, I now leave it and I see that it is no longer a sell option. I can go into my history. You can see I have my buy transaction I did at the start of this video and the sell transaction I just completed there. What I'm about to tell you next is definitely not financial advice. Don't use your main bank account. It is common to be debanked if constantly receiving and sending money from unknown accounts, especially if these unknown accounts also are trading peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin with people they do not have registered as contacts. If Revolut is your main account, set up accounts with Wise and N26, both of whom facilitate SEPA Instant. Other suggestions include Skrill, Zappo, Mobile Pay, and NetTeller. For the benefit of everybody using peer-to-peer, -peer, try use as many of these as possible and try not to use them too frequently either. It helps to increase the pool of anonymity and privacy. You can also use Amazon gift cards. It depends on if the exchange offers it or not. And here's some more advice, which is definitely not financial advice. Take your time. Master using one peer-to-peer -peer platform. Don't be overwhelmed. Learning one well will make the rest easy to use. Peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin is the true price of Bitcoin and it aligns with the Bitcoin ethos. Thank you for watching my video today. If you could like, subscribe and leave a comment, follow me on Noster or follow me on Twitter either. It's the same handle. Thank you.